If you go on to enjoy the video, do me a favour and hit that like button. It really does help out the channel a lot. And through Team of the Season, we are going to be doing a hell of a lot of player reviews. And of course, if you need any coins to get you through Team of the Season, head over to u7buy.com. Through Team of the Season, they are doing a pretty big promotion. 15% off when you use the code TVM at checkout. The link is in the description. What is going on, guys? Team here. Welcome back to a brand new video and a player that nobody wants to watch a review of and from a team of the season that is over a week old. So why are you bothering? Well, I'm going to have a little discussion about goalkeepers in general and we'll go from there as to whether I ever review goalkeepers again because they are very subjective. For example... This card is massively frowned upon whenever it's packed, or rather whenever it was packed, because you can't get it anymore. But I think the the guaranteed uh, Team of the Season SBC, a lot of people got this and were very upset about it, which is, I mean, in, in that sense, I think it's understandable, right? So you're opening a pack, hoping to get Kevin De Bruyne or Salah or Bruno or whatever, and you get a goalkeeper, and you get a 96-rated goalkeeper at that. A 96, 94-rated goalkeeper. So it's not one of the... I mean, he's not too far off the highest-rated card, to be fair, because the Premier League only had 96-rated cards in it. But you know what I mean. You don't. You never really want to pack a goalkeeper. A lot of people had him in reds as well, and again, a lot of people don't want him. Why? Because this card is fantastic. So you've got 93 diving, 94 reflexes, 90 handling, 99 kicking, 75 speed, which, by the way, for a goalkeeper is outrageously high, and then 94 positioning. Compared to his inform, uh, which is an 89 rated card, so only 5 below, uh, his diving and handling are both up by 6, kicking and reflexes both up by 5, positioning also went up by 6. So he's already gone up by more than the overall but get this 10 speed so up from 65 to 75 speed now with a basic chem style you can get that speed up again which is on paper nice reading but in practice does it actually mean anything and i'm here to tell you that yes yes it does especially if you play uh, with like a sweeper keeper kind of situation so if you're the kind of guy or girl or other who plays uh, with their goalkeepers rushing off the line to try and meet the attackers, speed is going to be a massive factor in the way that your goalkeeper performs. Another thing that this card can do, which a lot of other cards, I mean, they can do it, but they don't do it as well, and that is coming for crosses. This guy's coming for crosses is outrageous. So I do set my goalkeepers to sweeper keeper and comes for crosses, right? Even if because I accidentally sometimes when I make a new team, when I do player instructions, I'll forget to do the goalkeeper because it's kind of out of the way. So sometimes I will play with the goalkeepers just on standard, right? Even if you play with them on standard, he still rushes off his line to meet the attacker and he does it well and he doesn't really make that many mistakes. Now, I put a little asterisk next to that because this is FIFA. You, are, you have to expect and you are going to get mistakes from goalkeepers it's just a thing so the most common one that I see lately not that it happens every game but it, it does happen quite a lot and it doesn't matter what goalkeeper it is it will happen is when a long ball is played over the top either a long through ball or a long over the top ball or anything like that just the ball kicked long if there's no one around and the goalkeeper rushes out to meet it sometimes the ball can just go straight past the goalkeeper and that is a problem if you've got an on-rushing attacker and they just latch onto it and they just slot it home. That is a problem that every goalkeeper has because it's not a goalkeeper problem, it's just a coding error. And EA, for whatever reason, let's be honest, we know why, <coughs> lazy, they haven't patched it. And I don't think they're going to either. It's one of those really annoying things that happens sometimes. It doesn't happen all the time, just one of those things. Let me know in the comments whether you've suffered from that. Ball gets played through, goalkeeper comes out, just goes straight past the keeper. Keeper stands there as if to say what just happened, and then the attacker latches onto it, slots it home, walks it in, whatever. Really annoying uh, trait characteristic coding error that EA have got in their game. But that aside, which happens to everyone, that's the only error that... I mean, to be fair, he didn't even make that error, but that's the only error that I can envisage him making. I've played a lot of games with the 89 rated inform. A lot of games. He's actually been a featured keeper for quite a long time. And 
not once can I ever remember thinking, oh, that's Edison's fault. He's made a mistake there that another goalkeeper that I know would have saved. He is outrageous. And we have a saying in my co-op partnership with Keith. Uh, we have a saying, it's not pretty, but he gets the job done. And that is exactly what Edison is. He doesn't do things conventionally. Nothing will look pretty. Nothing will look routine. Everything looks like it was on the verge of collapse. But somehow, he keeps that ball out of the goal and he does it time and time again. Goalkeepers are very subjective in the fact that they can be, they can be fantastic for one person and then they can be absolutely terrible for the next. And that is one of the reasons why I very, very r rarely review goalkeepers. The other reason is because it is extremely difficult to make goalkeeper reviews last around 8 to 10 minutes, which is the threshold of YouTube ads. So, yeah, that's why I don't really do that many goalkeeper reviews. I'm happy to do goalkeeper reviews, even if I have to make them shorter and not really get paid that much for them. Just, you know, to get my word out there and to get my opinion across as to whether I like a goalkeeper or not. But with Edison, it's a little bit different because this is a goalkeeper that I've used, like I said, almost since the beginning. The standard card is decent. The 89 rated in form is just outrageous. And this is on another level. This is such a good card. He doesn't catch anything. And that's that whole, it's not pretty, but it gets the job done thing coming through. He doesn't catch a bean. Not a thing. Couldn't catch a certain virus that's been going around recently. Honestly, it is shocking how much he punches and parries. But he gets it away from the goal. He doesn't punch it straight back out. He doesn't really make that many mistakes when it comes to that sort of thing from crossing. He won't catch it, but he will punch it clear. And he gets it clear enough that you can regroup and defend. Now, he will concede the odd goal. That's just the way FIFA works. Completely transparent. Going to show you there on screen. He conceded a goal. That's FIFA. You're not going to have a goalkeeper that can save everything because otherwise everyone would have that goalkeeper and no one would score goals. So just be aware that standard shots are always going to go in regardless of which keeper you have because that's just FIFA. However, he will pull out a lot of saves that you won't expect him to put out. Pull out? Pull off? He will... Honestly, right? This goalkeeper is the best keeper that I've used in this FIFA. And I urge you to go and try him if you haven't already. This is 100,000 coins. Absolute banging for value. Even if you use him and he's not particularly very good. He is a very reasonably priced goalkeeper, especially for his rating. Let me know if you've used him in the comments, and if you have, what do you think of him? Do you hate him, and if you do, why? And do you love him if you do, why? And if you think he's just, eh, every goalkeeper's trash, you can let me know that as well. If you have enjoyed this play review and want to see more goalkeepers, feel free to hit the like button and let me know in the comments as well. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, and until the next time, goodbye.